Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen. I I just want to say thank you to all those new subscribers. Um, my hot dog video, the first one, has uh, taken off and I've got some great comments. Um, there was some uh, concern about um, using the uh, hand blender there to make it fine. So uh, what we're going to do today is, is we're going to do the same recipe. Um, but I'm going to utilize some of those suggestions um, uh, in the comment section um, where we're, we're not going to brown the meat. Um, we're going to cook it down and um, I'm not going to use the blender. So uh, basically we're just going to let it simmer and simmer and cook down until the meat just falls apart and makes a sauce. And yes, it's a hot dog sauce. You know, I call it a chili sauce, but... You know, it's not really a chili, it's a sauce. So anyway, um, I hope you like this uh, updated version, and um, let's get to it. Okay, so the ingredients haven't changed. Um, and by all means, this isn't set in stone. If, if you don't want as much cumin, don't use as much cumin. If you don't want to use the ginger, don't use the ginger. But this is the recipe how I found it um, uh, quite a few years ago. So what we're going to have is, it says two eight ounce cans of tomato paste. I have two six ounce cans of tomato paste. It's hard to find the eight ounce cans. We're gonna need one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard. And this uh, dry mix is gonna be one teaspoon of ginger, one tablespoon of cumin, one and a half tablespoons of chili powder, three quarter tablespoon paprika, three quarter teaspoon onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon celery seed, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon ground black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. We also are gonna need a cup of finely chopped onions, two cups of water, and ground beef, 80-20. The more fat, the better. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is Add that two cups of water. Now this this might you might need more water as you cook this down. We want to add all the other ingredients. The mustard. The Worcestershire. Ketchup. Now you gotta be careful with the ketchup. If too much ketchup, it's gonna make it taste um, sweet. Um, I, I try to use the uh, low fructose or no fructose, high fructose syrup. I'm putting this on a medium heat. I'm just gonna tomato paste. You break that down. We're going to add those onions. Now we're going to add chopped meat. Try to break that meat down so it's uh, kind of loose. I guess maybe you could have chopped it a little bit. 
Okay, it's starting to This might need a little bit more water. With the dry spices, we want to mix them up before putting them in. So I'm going to hold off a little bit until this starts to break down a little bit. And then I'll put these, I'll put all these uh, spices in. And I think I'm going to add another cup of water. That'll cook out. So that's three cups of water that we're using. You know, I can see already that uh, this might be a better way because um, after sitting in the in the liquid for just a couple minutes, it's already broken down, and I wouldn't really need that uh, that blender. I was really impatient with with the other video. So let's give this a couple minutes and then uh, we'll revisit it. Okay, so this has been going on a uh, medium to I'm sorry. This has been going on like a heavy simmer for about a half hour. I can already see an improvement in the texture and um, uh, yeah this is uh, this seems like it's going to be a much better way uh, without using the blender and um, just a matter of letting it cook down so now, now I'm going to sprinkle in that rub If you've ever had this style hot dog sauce, you'll notice the uh, the aroma. So, all right. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to a low simmer. I'm not going to cover it. So this way it can evaporate and it can thicken. We're going to reduce this. And this is how we're going to thicken it. Okay, so uh, we've been cooking this down for about three hours, and I think this is it. You can see it's uh, it's fine. It's not like uh, using the blender. Um, I, th I think it's real important. To cook it down for this amount of time because you can I, I've been tasting it throughout and um, cooking it uh, intensifies the uh, the flavor and um, that's definitely it so um although I'm on a diet I think I'm gonna have a couple dogs okay so I remember when I was younger, I'd see the onions that they put on the hot dogs, and um, they put parsley. They chop a little bit of parsley up and put it in the onions. I think it takes away some of that sharpness of the onions and and uh, doesn't give you uh, you know that onion breath. I'm going to use regular yellow mustard. You know the sauce you can you put on just about anything. You put it on French fries. I was gonna make French fries, but I'm on a low carb diet. It's bad enough I'm having this potato bread. It's a little. 
it's not as smooth as if you use the blender, but it, it still has a nice consistency to it. And then you just dabble that. And this is the new version. I've been tasting it. It tastes great, so. All right. So. I hope you enjoy this new version. It takes longer to cook. Um, tastes about the same, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't taste like, uh, some, someone says it tastes like a mandwich. It tastes nothing like a sloppy gel. So anyway. That's so good. Well, again, I'd like to thank everybody for all the comments that they've been giving me on my other uh, hot dog um, video. And um, I'm going to leave that one up. If you watched the other one, watch uh, this one and uh, just, you know, let me know what you think. Um, the taste is about the same. Texture is a little different, and that's about it. And um, I'd like to thank those uh, for the suggestion of um, not browning the meat, because I didn't brown the meat. I just put it in. It seems to have uh, worked out pretty good. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you again soon.